we wanted to push the envelope in terms of uh, the stereotypes that were sort of shoved down girls' throats of how they're supposed to play and what it means to be a girl. Today, I'm in Oakland, California to meet up with Debbie Sterling, the founder and CEO of the toy brand Goldie Blocks. This engineer turned entrepreneur has made it her life mission to level the playing field for girls and offer them a different kind of role model than Barbie. I have been watching Goldie Blocks over the years. How did you come up with Goldie? She was inspired a little bit by me, honestly. And so that initial concept for Goldie Blocks was that, can I make a girl engineer character? And so I created Goldie as the first girl engineer children's character. She's not a genius, but she's curious, she's adventurous, and she loves building and trying stuff. If girls identified with this character and they thought she was cool and they, they want to be like her, then maybe they would want to build stuff too. It's kind of a scary thing to go into the toy industry because this is an old industry that's been around for a long time with some major players. None of the toy stores wanted to take a chance on it because they all had that same conventional wisdom that this product just wouldn't sell, that girls just don't play this way, they don't like that. And so I decided to go up on Kickstarter and use crowdfunding because I needed to prove them wrong. You buy this right now on Kickstarter, I will hit the green light and I will go into production. Six months later, we're on the shelves of Toys R Us nationwide. So this is called Invention Mansion. You know, every girl kind of grows up with a big dollhouse. I had a big pink Victorian. I had one of those <laughs> as well. We kind of wanted to take the classic dollhouse with a goldy twist. The way that this whole process starts, uh, first actually, we're starting with cardboard, figuring out the tab system, figuring out a whole language for how this is gonna work. Then we actually take it uh, into CAD. We can build everything in a computer-generated model so we can make sure that all of the measurements are precise. Mm -hmm. This is what we actually use uh, to take the prototypes actually into a manufacturable product. What do you think is the one lesson that you learned early on that helped to make Goldie Blocks a success? What I learned, actually, the difference between an inventor and an entrepreneur. You know, the inventor is maybe that lone person sort of coming up with a great idea, but an entrepreneur is somebody who goes out and inspires people with what they're doing and sort of forms a tribe and builds a community around it. And that was the switch that flipped. <laughs> What has been the most rewarding part of your journey so far? Hands down, it's just been the reaction of girls. I know it sounds really sappy, but it, it brings tears to my eyes when I hear that, um, you know, girls as young as two, three, four calling themselves engineers and her mom saying, I, I didn't even know what an engineer was until I heard of your company. That to me, hands down, is just the best part. You know, it just fuels my fire.